Well, we're also taking an in-focus look tonight at the program being used to help identify vacants as part of our commitment to dig deeper than the headline. The city's Department of Housing and Community Development is going through the results of an artificial intelligence study to find rooftop damage of Baltimore City properties. The new program was in development before the Stricker Street fire, but the tragedy underscored the importance of such a program. That just reaffirmed our commitment to completing this study, advancing this work with Carnegie Mellon. So it wasn't the impetus for the work, it just reaffirmed the reason why we know that this um, is an extremely useful and helpful tool when we look at our vacant properties in the city. Now of the thousand properties, the AI program was as identified as having the most significant roof damage. The department has identified one new vacant and demolished four deemed safety risk. And those, however, are just the vacant homes with most significant roof damage. And as of today, there are 14,393 vacant homes in all of Baltimore. This AI program also follows the city's code X-ray program, and that system allowed firefighters to mark unsafe buildings with an X. However, the program fell by the wayside after community members complained it made neighborhoods look bad. In October, the city relaunched a similar program where red reflective signs are now posted on the front and back of vacant buildings deemed unsafe. 